Hi everybody, this is God Sad for the Sad Truth. Earlier today I posted a Sad Truth clip wherein I reported on a story coming out of Eastern Michigan University. Apparently uh, the school is trying to explore the possibility of infusing uh, black studies within all of its uh, majors. Uh, and so then I talked about how it would be uh, certainly appropriate to infuse black studies when it comes to studying mathematics because of course without it then uh, math would be nothing but a racist enterprise. Of course my point in uh, weighing in on this story is to demonstrate how nefarious and grotesque the effects of identity politics are and so this led me to then spend the past approximately two to three hours uh, perusing through roughly 260 pages of a conference program. This is the Popular Culture Association and American Culture Association uh, conference meetings. Uh, I will actually put a link to the, uh, to the actual uh, place where you can access uh, the conference program. And I went through the whole thing line by line trying to jot down all of the uh, titles of talks that I thought would be worthy to of uh, covering on a sad, in, a, in a sad truth clip. Uh, the, the, the point being again to show how uh, many of these disciplines have been completely taken over by folks who are nothing more than peddlers of identity politics. Now of course culture could be studied in many perfectly valid scientific ways and certainly as an evolutionist uh, there are many uh, evolutionary perspectives by which uh, cultural forms could be studied. I, I discuss uh, one such way which I call fossils of the human mind, right? You could do content analyses on cultural products to demonstrate that there are certain universal themes that speak to a shared biological heritage. That's uh, something that I've uh, developed in several of my books and my other writings. So there are many ways by which one can study scientifically culture. So it's not as though I am about to denigrate that endeavor. Rather, the problem is that if you go through uh, the conference program, it is nothing but intersectionality that has gone on utter steroids. It's basically victim narrative after victim narrative, identity politics, intersectionality. Everything is viewed through the lens of one's pet uh, you know, identity group or victimology narrative. And of course, that creates uh, an environment where you actually are not doing science. You're just peddling victimology. And so what I thought I would do today is I actually went through, as I said, line by line, uh, you know, more than 200 plus pages of conference programs. Let me tell you, it was not easy to go through all that gibberish. Uh, but I tried to look for some of the uh, top titles of presentations that were delivered at this conference and then I tried to organize them into different themes. It's, it's always about you know fat studies, queering, uh, feminism, black fat feminists, right? That's where you have the intersectionality and, and that's basically all you see at such conferences. So for today I, I just look at one of the groupings and that's the uh, sort of the queering category. And no, you don't have to write comments that, uh, you know, this is an inappropriate word. That's the word that is used within queer studies, right? And so I'm just going to read to you uh, verbatim uh, the queer related or LGBTQ related, I hope I got that acronym right, uh, related themes uh, or titles that fall within that theme. So here we go. So I hope you like what you see, the capitalist logic of the queer closet in Hitchcock's rope. Casual play, queer games, or why I should dump my mini gay boyfriend. Culture, context, and agency, an examination of transnational LGBTQ activism. Defanged and desirable, an examination of violence and the lesbian vampire narrative. The next one might be the best one. 
Siamese twins and contemporary queer fiction. No, I didn't make this up. I'm going to read it again. Siamese twins and contemporary queer fiction. The successful use of the queer aesthetic as a tool of political <laughs> hegemony. Queer post-human meat puppets <laughs> in supernatural. Now this next one, I don't know if it's, a, if it's a spelling error or if it's actually something that's spelled like this. Spider Woman, W-O-M-O-N. So Spider Woman's lesbian fairy tales, gender and genre in the classroom. One would think that really these issues are at the forefront of popular culture and American culture because there are so many papers that were delivered on queering and all these types of things. So let's keep going. The homoerotics and monstrous otherness of Teen Wolf. Queer ethics, urban spaces, and the horrors of monogamy in It Follows. Putting back the queer in queer families. I'm not done yet. I'm about halfway done. Momentary or performative queerness. Queered female genders and sexualities in the Chinese reality show, Your Face Sounds Familiar. Here we've got intersectionality. We've got uh, people of, uh, you know, visible minority and it's queering. So you have sort of a, a, a wonderful intersectionality of victimhood that you can... Uh, attest to. Here's the next one. Art plus design equal BFFs, best friend forever, <laughs> or queering the pedagogical framework for interdisciplinarity between art and design. I guess art and design can be queered. Ludology and the study of queer game content. I'm not making these up. These are at one of the premier, if not the premier, scientific conference for the study of popular culture, scientific advisedly in quotes. Sensual folds, <laughs> textured erotics, colon, centering the fat queer man's belly as a site for sexual pleasure. Okay. Inside the Lavender Tower narratives of LGBTQ faculty, the phallus will not be televised, an examination of one-sided depictions of transgender individuals in popular media. Queering Hannibal, bending genres and sexuality. Batwoman, to queer or not to queer? That is the question. Sad gaze for the straight gaze. An analysis of mainstream <laughs> queer cinema. Queering the alpha male fantasy, fandom's solution to supernatural's problematic masculinity. We're almost done. In the flesh, <laughs> humanized zombies and homonormative queerness. These are scientists, people. These are academics. These are scholars. Grunge feminism, the subversive hypertextuality of the queered voice performed through the body. And finally, yes, a good one. <laughs> Boys are from Mars, girls are from Venus. I've got a yum yum. <laughs> Mom has a penis. Gender blind voice casting and butch desire. In Bob's Burgers. So there you have it. Uh, again, my uh, uh, covering this should not mean that, of course, uh, it annoys me that I even have to 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 provide this, you know, this statement. Of course, that no one should face discrimination. Of course, uh, anyone who is uh, transgendered or has a gender identity issue or is uh, so-called, I say so-called queer because I don't want anybody to accuse me of uh, using a wrong word when this is obviously the word that is used within the community. Uh, of course, everybody has a right to pursue their lives free of discrimination. That doesn't mean that 
this type of quote academic pursuit is something that we should take seriously again it is identity politics and victimology narrative gone on steroids it is an affront to true scholarship and frankly uh the sooner that we critique it as we should anything right i mean people critique evolutionary psychology endlessly right so certainly if we can critique the theory that it, that has the greatest amount of evidence in its support i.e evolution then uh, critiquing queer studies at popular culture conferences should not be off limits so there you have it folks um hope i have elucidated the mystery for you in terms of what goes on at uh, such conferences my next sad truth clip i'll be specifically covering a topic close to my heart since i am a differently weighted person and that would be all of the uh, papers that were delivered at this popular culture conference on uh, fat related issues and they use the term fat so apparently it's okay for me to use it and of course it's okay for me to use it since i myself i'm differently weighted hope you're having a good start to your week talk to you soon ciao